Tide? We de can lay na table waiting be happen during Liberia and Sierra Leone football match na the Sierra Stevens Stadium this past September. Just like as I say earlier, it's all like say that particular game day. <laughs> Something be really wrong with, I don't know if not the stadium, or now with the people them, or now the sports. Something was just off. Because that same game day, now he make FIFA give a punishment because of them people them we go stone now the field after the game that end day now we hear say two presidential guard not to the one that win a police not to the one that win a OSD but these are the military guys two per them take upon themselves and beat Two journalists. That's the way the news be broke. They say, then fit the president. Now, so they say, they say the journalists then fit the president. Then, as time they go on, then talk say back, then pose a threat to the president. So, then count all kinds talk well everybody rise up sludge swasal female because now two lady them so all man even we self self who get small voice now say a network we condemn waiting be happen and ask for investigation at that time when the investigation be the gone sludge be say they want for make them ask them two people in there for step aside for spa the work. Say all thing done. But the Minister of Information be tell we say they not go ask them for step aside because na allegation it's allegedly stated. So they not go ask them for step aside. Okay. Well the two st- Staff member them of SLBC. When are Esther Marie Samura and Frances Bundo. When this thing be happen, a lot of people begin to ask questions. Say, why SLBC no make statement for condemn what thing happen? Instead, all the organizations that we get for do with journalists, they do. And they don't make statements, they say because um, people and they say because not did in the work, they supposed to make statements and condemn the act. But we all know say hmm, this SLBC is under government. So the Ministry of Information and Communication say, you know what, in? we go step in and we go set up a committee where they choose members then from different sectors then, we for make up that committee day, we not then go look directly inside this case where then two journalists lady say, then two military personnel them, when a part of the presidential guard beats them. Okay. The committee gets them findings. Let we listen to within them fan out with all the investigation. September 12 this year, the government be set one committee for investigate the allegation. We say some presidential guard them been beat some sport journalists them, including two female journalists them from the Salon Broadcasting Corporation (SLBC), one freelance sport journalist, and other people them during the Salon versus Liberia World Cup preliminary qualification game in South Freetown, September 8 this year. This committee, according to the chairperson Doris Sonsiama, been comprised 18 people from both nine institutions them with two 
two representatives each. We get for do with the Ministry of Information and Communication, the Salon Association of Journalists, Sludge, Women in the Media, Wimsal, Salon Broadcasting Corporation, SLBC, Sports Writers Association, Salon Reporters Union, Trent Presidential Guard Force, and other body them. But waiting at the procedure, we are used for investigate this case. Son Siama, the chairperson for the committee. The committee spoke to 18 persons, and those were inclusive of the victims, the alleged perpetrators, and other persons of interest. The methodology which um, we went by as committee are as follows. We had individual testimony from all the parties involved, including interested parties. We conducted hearings in this conference room, and as and when necessary, we conducted interviews out of the spread conference room. We also collected physical and electronic evidence. We invited independent witnesses who were present at the scene to come to the committee and make a statement. And we also had a session in which we invited um, the victims to do identifications of persons of interest. Um, our decisions were made by either majority vote or by unanimous decision. Thomas Dixon, now the editor for the Saloon Times newspaper, and I want the people them will represent the Saloon Association of Journalists now this committee. He talked to me about some pandy team them will them fail out inside this investigation. Um, some of the key findings are that first, indeed, yes, journalists were beaten. They were beaten by a presidential guard force because we identify a particular person. We name beat them. Another findings are that um, um, there was allegation say the journalists them in course or them use unpleasant words on the president. We find out say that not to be true. There are evidence of being they say them use unpleasant words on the president. And um, we also do some site visits at the national stadium and we find out say the the the, the, the commentary booth not conducive for journalists for one comment today, it dilapidated. Because of that situation, um, you get to lose wood, wood and they boot them, nails them, where somebody can deal up that comment today and pose a serious security threat to the president and all the dignitaries that waking they down the presidential pavilion. I will also find out, say, the window where they say be open, maybe they on top of the president in here. And who say the SLBC journalists every day? Now, they far off the president and they will not believe, say, that's the SLBC journalist that put security threat to the, the president. Better medical service for the victim them. Replace them property them wouldn't be lost. Human rights training for state security them. According to Thomas Dixon, they part of the team them wouldn't ask government for do. The, a particular military officer and the presidential guard force where we find out they involved in the beating, alleged beating of the journalists there, they for removal of the presidential guard force because you not deserve for the day, and the military also for take appropriate action against them. The state for facilitate and finance further medical facilities um, opportunities for the journalists there with a beat because we don't see over the years we're in the beach journalists them without proper um, medical facilities, they can lost their lives. So we recommend say, the, the state for take further medical facilities. And then we find out, say, some people, and they will not be, we know to journalists, say, where this presidential guard force be actually beat. Then say, say, lost something. We recommend, say, all them things, and they will then lost. The state for, for try for pay them back. We also recommend, say, the state for compensate all the victims. We also recommend, say, we should serve journalists will get responsibilities. One of the responsibilities that are there to for understand presidential security protocols. So we make some of the recommendations we get for do with the journalists. Then. We also recommend, say, people are within near the president, security personnel are near the president, and for train them on the basic human rights issues. Basic human rights issues. The chairperson for this committee, the Andover, then reports to the government through the Minister of Information and Communication, Mohamed Rahman Suare, We, according to Ram, government they study this report and go inform the public for their decision on the issue them with the inside the report. We make the journalist community oopsie. Governments will respond on this report quick one and work on the recommendation them with the committee don't put together for the Society for Radio Democracy, Musa S. Kamara. We want to tell Musa S. Kamara thank you for that particular report today. Well, you are here waiting the one them we compile the report. The extent we then go 
for make them get everything we them put na then you report. And once I we <laughs> we get for learn now through this report, see, not to the journalists they no more than beat too. They even beat people them. We not to journalists them. It's like they were on a beating rampage. It's so unfortunate that we're not able to know on which influence them be they. Were they drunk? Were they high? Because, okay, make a whole lie of us. Make we count with the Minister of Information. According to this report, we want to tell 98.1 Tenki and Musa Kamara, we do the report. Let me listen to the Minister of Information and Communication, Mohamed Rahman Swaye. We, after the report, we did not receive them. We did not think say, they put in place concerning the beating. Let me listen to this. That's Bureau and the Fourth Estate um, committee members um, who were constituted to look into the alleged beating of two female journalists during the Sierra Leone Liberian football encounter at the National Stadium. Um, I like to doff my hat to you for a very, very, very diligent um, um, piece of work you put together. We find that very useful as government. Um, we would like to respond to your very hard work does. I'm going to read a prepared statement. I will make off the cuff comments later because that's what I'm noted for. But I'm going to stick, stick so sensitive to the to the script before me. Re investigation committee reports on alleged beating of journalists. The Minister of Information and Communications on 17th October 2019 received reports from the investigations committee instituted by the ministry to investigate the alleged beating of two female journalists by security personnel of the Joint Presidential Guard Force during the Sierra Leone Liberia encounter on Sunday, September 8, 2019 at the National Stadium in Freetown. Noting the committee's observations that there were palpable security concerns around the vicinity of the presidential pavilion and cognizant of the findings and recommendations proffered by the investigations committee, the government of Sierra Leone, in response to the investigation report, notes the following. One, that the government of Sierra Leone reformed supported expenses already incurred on treatment of victims of the incident at the stadium. B, or two, that the state facilitates and finances further medical attention needed by the female journalists and the other identified victims can only be predicated on a certified medical report. Three, that necessary administrative action has already been taken against the officer of the Joint Presidential Guard Force proven to have inflicted grievous bodily harm on the female journalists. Four, that all issues in the report relating to line ministries Departments and agencies will be referred to them for appropriate timely interventions. Five, that in spite of all reservations, government will pay for all claims and damages incurred by victims as contained in the report. In view of the aforementioned, government wishes to assure all media practitioners and citizens of its continuing support and commitment to media freedom and protecting and preserving the rights of all Sierra Leoneans. So this is government's position on the outcome of the investigations. So I thank you very much. We promise um, we will be very swift. We have done. I have seen, I followed many. First, uh, let me reiterate my commendation for the committee. Right? You have heard it from there. The government did not unduly interfere. We supported the investigations every inch of the way. We created an enabling environment. The witnesses, as highly placed as the aide camp to the president, two of them, we are sat through the investigation throughout in spite of their very busy schedules. This means we are honestly, genuinely, and sincerely committed to the investigations and we have, by this statement, all right, um, acted upon them. So on that note, I'd like, like to thank you all very much. Yes, on that note, the Minister of Information and Communication Mohamed Ramantswaye, you want to tell 
the journalists then will be the another room then we self self will listen now you want for tell we thinking you don't hear it. waiting na be the findings waiting then put na report the committee and waiting the handover to the ministry now you hear it waiting the ministry then take and put now their own final report about how then they handle the matter. What thing are you take? Because from all this thing come out, some people they call say then for sack them people lendy. Instead, then pull them come out. Na the presidential guard team, but then still they na the military. Even though, if you listen this, the minister tell we say, they hand over them people and they to the military for make them take appropriate action. So you feel say the military will take the appropriate action for fire them? Or you think, say, that move no more, say, for they don't move, then come out from the presidential guard team. They're not it again. So, it's well and good. Make her open the phone line. If you want to be part of the program, you get opportunity now for call. Yes, call ID live on here. You name and who side you call from? Yeah, well, this is uh, Brian from Sago, North Dakota. Yeah, Brian, you background loud, small, I don't know if you can work a comedy or dollar. Okay, right. Let me just. Okay. Yeah, um, I think um, this. Um, we just see like this. Scenario we we don't see right now we happen. Um, these people they be able to get chance for get justice and like we they able to get the reform with the non laws and everything. But again, we need to see the officers them get discipline too. Either they remove them na the na the force or. But again, a lot of these things don't they happen at the country. You know, it's because these people then believe the only thing we they talk about here is we won't let the media would they concentrate on this violence where they happen when then people are getting any function. Even elections, by elections, a lot of things that don't happen. Innocent people they don't die. But it's because now media personnel them now make them able to take their own case seriously. I can remember na, na, that place where that 14 year old Bobo would die. No media, no media house, no the way put these things together for that Bobo, for letting get justice. You know, people they only suffer during this government. You know, it's too much. The, the problem too much in this country, the social lawlessness. And people and then they harass people in too much. So, but again, because there were a medium personnel there, every all these media houses there where they don't call to the 98.1, get slava, sludge, what is it? What they call slava, say sludge. All they want and they come together for let them put this report together. But again, when the masses, the other people and they suffer, nobody know the way they come to the aid. You understand? And this is unfair. You really unfair. And we thank God we bring this problem today, this um, uh, topic today for loud discourse about them. It really, really hard. What the people are not suffer through this government, this particular government, what we don't suffer, the masses don't suffer a lot. So please, would they plead to the media houses them, let they able to highlight them problems there, allow bring them on board, you know, allow discuss them. That's my contribution, Nani. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much, Kola. Thank you. The phone line still open. If you want for 
be part of the program, you can either call on WhatsApp or direct the UK number or the US number. Again, we did talk about the two journalists then. We then be beat during the Liberia and Sierra Leone March. Yes, call ID live on here. You name and who side the call from? Yeah, I'm in Musa, the call from New York. Yes, Musa, you get the platform. Yeah, Triple AM. One thing, like this last caller, they say a lot of people will suffer there. But one thing we want, we don't listen to the press briefing with the, the Minister of Information say about the people that we fall in the act. But there are kids of two people there. They say, according to the investigations, we they do now one person involved into the problem. So they don't decide for take an appropriate measure. They say, even before that, they don't pull them, dismiss them to people, and we they like saying that they beat the two journalists. But after the investigations, the way they don't do now one person, they find guilty. They don't know that they clearly. The person they find guilty, I think they don't push out to the military for them to take their appropriate action. Then this report, this policy they talk say with this government on Canada, and they don't cause a lot of people have problems. I really want to let them highlight certain things. They don't left for the they don't left for the defame this government. Would they defame this government? How many people they don't kill during this particular government? How many people don't die? The lawlessness, not a government they call you for the lawless. The law abiding. If somebody go go holy now, you will say beat you. There are Sierra Leoneans in that country one day away from doing uh, uh, Papa Shekete up to this time. They know one day suck tita. They know one day bitter because he always sit down and who they abide with the rules and regulation. When they say politics, where you know mix, no good. People they want for the law abiding, they no one for the law abiding, where the law taking calls and people and they hear the shouts here and there. Now left venting and there's some of them here. We they create bad image for a country. Don't want our country progress. How many people they don't kill? That's alone that this government don't cause her. When they tell you, say, not do this for the safety of the country, people they still go take up for be bad. When they say, not do this for the safety of these people, we still they portray them for be bad. So anything where somebody want for do, let them just allow and let go ahead and do it. If problem come out tomorrow, not to government in Hano Dede, don't tell this government this thing. The people that don't try, they don't beat this job. Journalism is not to play play work, my brother. Not to play play work. A lot of people they get injured in journalism. Look this man where they came na 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 Istanbul, na 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 Tunisia. Was it Tunisia or Turkey? It's not easy. When you fall into the unfortunate part of journalism, it's bad. We all on a risky job down there. But at least the government don't take a bold step. They don't investigate the matter. The people that we come to, the way, where they don't hold. Now one person, they hold copy of the, 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 the incident. So that person, they, they don't decide for deal with The government is ready for take care of everything that happened between them people that we this happen to. At least they don't give code to down there. Because at least the investigator and results come out inside. Which you don't ever have with in that country. So that's what they say. Thank you very much, Musa. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Yes, call ID live on here. You name and who the call from? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll sign down them and they call from London. I'll sign you get the platform. Uh, yeah, and people, I mean, the only two I want to say is that just like within this last call, they say, I think the first thing, first way we for appreciate now that the government boldly come out and say something positive about the report we the findings we didn't get in regards to the beating of these journalists. You know, and we don't see things that don't happen in that country today. If we, we all can recall during the election, somebody they were like prominent journalists we didn't kill. We know you're in nothing. And up till now, you will even present the program. There was something where you put on the page, Facebook page, say, um, then they look for the former president in Pekin, where they where be somebody as um, um, a culprit for the death of that journalist. We know you're nothing. You know, it's hard for letting them beat journalists. 
it's sad for let them kill journalists. But if the government of the day, we not the dinner power, not to from their own sake or their own side make this happen, and then come out boldly and, and accept the decision of um, you know the journalism, I think say people need for appreciate that. But for let somebody they say this government na power, the problem with the non creative boku, the killing with the non creative boku, so the people are not get this, people are not get no, I believe say now the right step this the, the this government they do. And we know the previous government will be in a power, how they treat people and will they talk bad about them, you know. We're like we now we they talk bad about SNPP, we they go back na saloon, go waka, they really do nothing. But you can't talk bad about APC. You go to Freetown and you walk there freely. They don't say now you. Then they deal with you. So let me be honest enough for say, at least they don't beat the person or they don't beat the journalist. God make with gladly in order and not lost in life. Because if you be lost in life, now nah, different situation. But when in their life now, the government say they take responsibility. Fair enough. But the one who they say they for stack the soldier man, they will do that. I don't think say you. Go one lady and do that to you, somebody, if you na you man or na you brother, because it beat a journalist, you say for let them suck her. Why you not go say for let them discipline her? Then then just suck her like a so. If I let them discipline her, so it go learn from me, then if it cannot do job self, maybe it go be an example for advice in company, say, don't do this, don't do that. But for say for let them suck her, I think it's too harsh. I would prefer for let them deal with them according to law, then it come back. Then like who's kind to you the suggest so for like the deal with like waiting so you feel say go go commensurate with waiting and do like who's kind deal with you feel so? Very good. Thank you very much. You know, when you beat somebody in an assault, so let the law take its cause on assault against them and then deal with them how they're supposed to deal with them. Now you may go say because now beat, then beat. And then, then cause grievously bodily harm or whatsoever. We happy that death not take place. But if you then deal with them for assault, you know mean saying they no go come back. Then go come back. Then can't do their job because I don't think say they need to sack them. But let them deal with them. The assault way na in the law say when somebody beat you na assault. Let them deal with them. Let them deal with them. We do this thing now in assault way. And then after they don't punish them without them get for punish them. Then let them take their job back. You know, we know people come back to... at the presidential because they don't pull them there already. They are not part no, of no, that no. team. No, mm -hmm. no, they're not go, they're not go, go you know, necessarily because you know that particular area, the way they work, they like very sensitive area. So if a search don't happen, uh, it's not go nice for let you come again, then they go put you there again. You understand? Because it's not go serve as a good example because now like a prominent somebody, but then get areas the way they will deploy this kind of somebody, then it go there, then it go learn interestingly. We know a lot of people that are forces people them, when they don't do bad things, you understand? For example, um, we know go know some of their story that like when Johnny Paul escaped, we know the people that will be go for Johnny Paul by then, we then people and they they don't count Johnny Paul, Johnny Paul escaped, and then people and they they don't sack them. What you they do then just demote them. And we all know say Johnny Paul, na somebody where they want, na the egg. We all know that. But they don't sack those people, then demote them. You will not be demoted where they hold you, then demote you to sergeant. You will not be inspector, then demote you to constable. You know? So, to be honest, yeah, let them just deal with them. The law deal with them for assault. And then, please, let them encourage them back. But if they say for let them sack them, come on. You know, maybe the government just they accept this condition because it won't allow their peace reign in the country. But maybe deeply, deeply, the things that will go on, like when they talk about course, because no one go yonder, the, the, the people that will give the report, they deny, of course, you understand. So the government will give a blind eye because now the country, where it is so, we all want peace. The government don't want the problem and they happen again, like such thing, especially to the media side. So the government won't continue to give the media them the respect for letting them deliver for we, because we're happy with the media they deliver and they give you correct information. And they're not saying if they mistake do anything to the media, trust me, the government will become very, very unpopular. So that's why they are playing it low like this and they accept it and they will deal with the man who calls this avocia according to people. Thank you very much. I think I will stop me. Thank you very much, Alusain. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yes, call ID live on your name and inside the call from? Yeah, this is my IRA call from US. Yes, I get the platform. Yeah, I think the the um 
investigation was in place and the recommendations were were good and the Ministry of Information seems like they accept the the recommendations, you know, which is good, you know. So as far as the military discipline is concerned, the military gets so many options to take, you know. It not necessarily means they have to fire them, you know, like we other column they suggest, you know. There are so many options they can take. They can and they suspend them without pay, and when they finish their suspension, they give them desk job. And then they say the incident for fire them, you know, because um, they don't kill nobody, you know. Some of this um, um, stuff where sometimes people um, make this um, um, issues the way they talk about government, the government, this, the government, that. You know, sometimes they should look at themselves in the mirrors, you know, when they make up this um, um, stuff, you know. What things don't happen in the past? How the previous government then treat people when do such and such things like this? You know, there are precedents because we can look at case studies. Because we know almost a time in the past, you know, even when some ministers then involved in corruption and some dubious dealings then in some ministry, all they did to them was they not fuck them, they just move them from one ministry to another and then go continue with their dubious activities. But everything that's alone and so in the politics involved, you know, people if they fail for and then realize and look back what things that happen, you know, because of politics now, you know, anything really happen now, now they blame the government, the government this, the government that. How many people it is the people that don't suffer so much and they still is on the side of you? Why do they come up with the data? People just they come and talk about all kinds of things. These statistics. Give reference points. Let people know where you get all this stuff from. Not just come and they just the toxic. The people that they suffer so, 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 this don't happen, that don't happen. Give reference points, give statistics, give data. You know? So people will not say, yes, but you talk makes sense. But not the kind of talk because of political leanings, you know? That's my take. Thank you very much, Ayo. Thank you, sir. Yes, call ID live on here. You need me to say the call from? No, I mean, I'm not Brahma. I call from New Jersey. Yes, Brahma, you get a platform. Ah, I think we'll take thank you for the forum. Um, this one, we go, we go, conde- we go commend them because at least they do something. At least the government take action, then do something. Because before I say anything, the last say this. Journalists, they are very important because without journalists, any country outside them, the voice of the journalists is silent. Term. That country, they are in trouble. They are in trouble. So now I make we not never, never, ever want that. Journalists, then forget their voice. Because at them, in other words, now they are the watchdog for the ordinary man. Watchdog in the sense for monitor whatever civil government they do, good or bad, for important to the people. Eh? So now I make they are very important. We don't want to silence them at all, at all, at all. So now I make what this don't happen, we go back. That 1965 Public Order Act, although they deep enough, they need for reform that. That is very, very important. Like go back to the, the military personnel. Eh? Then, and see, they, they are military officers. They get martial law. Let the military deal with them, whatever they want to do. But then for make sure see them deal with them. May not go say let them fire them or let, but let them deal with them. Because that's not for, uh, enough for the apple. And then if not the minister or whoever say they need for the, the newspaper guy, the journalist, they need for train with military personnel. Not only the normal, even the police. They need for train them because they don't know they don't know what people are human rights. They don't even know what they are human rights. I don't know about other people are human rights. And I mean, they need to train them. They have to train them because it's like say, the police, them all, the military, you know, then trigger happy. And I don't know. Any after what they see, they're not for see big person, the president or this, that. In an, although here yeah, we know so I get for protect the president. But in this case, those people are innocent. Uh, 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 female journalists, 
They not pose no threat to the president. Why would they go manhandle them? But then for taking this opportunity, as I say, let them train them. Now, continuous training, I don't know if we get done in a salon. They need for to do continuous training in service. So that will help them and go know for say, what you what they call civilian, not to anything for put on panel. Then get for training them on that. And again, this don't come everything, and just like one of the callers they say, let them make sure say now police so this that or as I say. Any any works or any how they meet up with civilian, let them be careful, please, and let them investigate. Let them investigate. This one a journalist, they are high profile, just like what the other caller say. What about the other the ordinary civilian who every day thing like they are they happen to nobody is saying nothing and not get what they talk for them? So now I make the need for train them. Police, military. Because they abuse civilian every day we know they handle. So they need training. They need training. So thanks very much. I'll continue for listening. Thank you very much, very much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, caller, you do live on here. You name and who side you call from? Yes, um, um uh, A, this is Brian again. And um, I just want to make it point clear here. Um, my my points were the major for free a comment on the limit a little bit over all these issues right there happen. The mercy is not so far a lot. We are in never see justice for the mercy for me. A lot of people look what they happen a lot of a lot of all a lot of all if they if they attack people in other country they if they beat people they cause all kinds of mayhem in that country. Which governments we don't come out today don't take action against that idea. So when callers in the coming and begin to defend this government or whatever, I they tell you say the reason why this issue really go into this point, the investigation goes to this point, is because the media personnel then they get a colleagues and we stand for them. We send way the media uh, the media houses that don't stand for the poor innocent people in other countries, the way they suffer. People in the sofa, these people uh, assume power. People in the sofa every day, intimidation day, every day in other countries. Okay, but and now until they, they allow they, call, so our allow just left and because now the same thing will you be talking before. Yeah, that's what we are saying. Okay. You understand? But All right, thank you. We need justice for these other sort of people, and you understand that that will be the tribe for saying here. You know, not only because you get connection, when they hurt you, then we will fight for you. Now we will fight for the masses then. With the suffer most, you understand? Because they want a media personnel, then I make them get trusty so. So now the point that they want to make now, all right? Thank you. Thank you so much. I just yeah. call for clear that point, all right? Yes, call ID live on here. You name and who side the call from? Um, my name is uh, Prophet Basheki. I'm from uh, Maryland, USA. Yes, I'm waiting on your contribution on this particular issue they talk about the journalism and what the government put in place. Well, most of what uh, you have to see has already been said, so it will be repetitive. So I will move further than that and add for say that uh, the root cause nine really matter. If we map on the side of a river and pushing the can downstream in the Alasia, they drown and they drown and they will swim. Then you jump beside the water, you pull the person. No sooner you rescue them, somebody else they can down the river, the Alasia, they drown. You pull them back again, other person they come back. This they happen over and over and over until you walk go upstream and find out how the people there so when they swim. Then they end up in the river then the problem will not be solved. So we have to go upstream, and that is my contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pasheki. Thank you, sir. Yes, caller, you live on here. You name and who side you call from? Yes, uh, you me now, I call from London. Yes, Abdurrahman, what's in a contribution? Yeah, um, and I, um, thank you for the forum. I will commend the government for a then snap them decide for do investigation and do to let them know what is happening. But like I the other caller talk on now because of the pressure all they get 
from the civilian. This government, the first call attacker, this government so then can apart on go stand on two They don't kill Boku people with them. Boku people are there and they don't go up. They don't go salon it seems this government can have power. Then people are there they travel, they travel like saying a war time with the power. Madame they travel like saying a war time with the power. I don't go salon to say. In the travel, it's like RPG. I was so scared when I see them people are there travel. I go you building the first to order and get the power. It's unbelievable. It's like we have seen every Pakaba will be there during the war or the travel. So because me, I go salon Pakaba be in power. You understand? I go salon 1999. It's unbelievable. But it's, it's like, I'm glad they wouldn't investigate. Their military guy, they did, and they for show example, they for sack them. For let the government know, say, this is not a civilian government. So, what they for NPRC say? What they be they kill people with armored car, in official instead? NPRC, they kill people in front of me in official instead. I still know the, the family of that person, they kill. Still, now the same government, they can continue. Then they, they travel with so many convoy and RPG with a very high speed and then the military guy they then you tell them say this is a civilian government. We are not in a military time. Then you for calm down. Then you for calm down and no say that they deal with civilian there. I commend them at least so they go to the bottom of this and they they, they, they listen it's because of the pressure. Well at least they try. That, that's why I will commend them. But the president, the one the way they talk for them, the one the way they listen to them, your advisor, we are in a civilian government, in a democratic dispensation. The military and convoy is too much. It's too scary. It's too scary. I don't see Madame Yoro pass five ten, the president. You don't ever see him in glass dead on set. All ten the glass dead up with high speed. You know, triple A. You, you have to call a spade a spade. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Abdul Rahman. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, call ID live on here. You name the call from? Yeah, good evening. Nah, then do the call from New York. How are you doing? Not bad. You get the platform. What's in your contribution? Yeah, I just uh, commend the government for what they don't do. And I think that the way forward. We can say anything can happen, things that we don't go wrong, but at least if you step they don't they take they don't they take next step then they for correct things the way they don't be they go wrong. I think say we for um just start the right step in the right direction. The one that we didn't they cry out say, Oh, then pressure the government. Now that's the one. We then pressure you and then you you listen to the voices of the masses and then you do what is right. That's not even called, you know, government. You know, you govern the people, you listen to the will of the people. So I don't see no reason why people then probably cry or say, oh, then they put pressure on them and then listen. And that is not the whole down the way they for do. Because we the citizens and things and they don't go PC they shall be everything, but they don't have be everything. We, we set up for their voices then. So if we cry out for certain things and then they listen to those our voices, I think the voices they don't have and I right accept that. Because if they just left them so no more, then they do what they will feel for do, it not go all go well for the countries. So, the voices of the masses. I think that the right step that, and then we, you know, we applaud them for that. Kudos to them, and let them continue for their listening because some things they we didn't get for good, they do, they could be said and get them right, but they don't get them right. So if then they, we cry out and then they listen to voices them, and then then go according to what we demand, I think it's not the right step. And the one that we didn't they cry out, this guy, oh, this na killer, we na man, they wanna calm down, but we na calm down, we na too desperate right now, we na too desperate. Power come from God, you know. If we have not lost this election, we have allowed the guy to let govern. He don't go all na the world, na the don't go all part na the country, na the world. They not arrest and say na you know na killer. Every time we have the this same guy, we don't kill, we don't kill from the campaign team. And the guy is still the governor, we have still the cry out, say don't kill, we don't kill. We have calm down, bro. We have calm down. Now that no more media tell them social media, all the things that we have post, you know, go well for the country. You know, when I get for think back, say, I don't know, in a country, right? Don't know, let for post negative activities then, not the social media, because we don't let the guy. If we don't let the guy, we don't let the country. That's what we ask when I follow, when I do, right? I don't let him, if he don't let, I'm not saying I need for let, I need for let me country. I don't need for no other than him, but I need for let me country. All the things that we have post in the media, you know, other ways, all the way to the talk, so now we're not right for when I talk to the one talk, but at least, we are not for good to publish things that we did, you know, blackmail with country, we did give country bad repetition. I don't know what we ask them for, 
and made them take out, they may not lose the election, made them allow them one day, they don't win, made them govern. But that's the moment they have stand for. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kola. Thank you, sir. Judge Kamara on her Facebook say, in things say, for make them pull them from the presidential detail, then then go reassign them back na other side, then they not go far enough. He say instead, in things say, then for charge them people, and they, that's not the people them from the presidential guard, the military officers them, for charge them go to the criminal court and make them try them like civilian. That's now written Judge Kamara say on Facebook. Salih Banks Ibrahim say, he say if we forgive the rebel them, we do all kind thing to we people them. And Boku Boku in a community them. Why will not for forgive them so German they are? Abdullah Bundu content on Facebook say, he said the journalists and the other people and then get medical condition such as concussion with some time, perhaps, maybe, some kind of way, it will lead to psycho-organic syndrome. We will cause short or long, in short or long run, hinder their career and their livelihood. If it be say, then call pretty than and then so German, they have the ready for swap places with the people them wearing beats. That are some of the text them we did directly to waiting with the discourse. A lot of text they but you know so we can come the issue yeah sometimes with the pick up battle. Who's our one start? People then say now, because they put pressure, now they make the government act. People can still put pressure, then the government still not act. So, because people can put pressure and they act, I think it's a good thing. Because at the end of the day, we don't see Usai journalist Samura he lost in life during the election. And as we speak right now, Sierra Leone police, I think we have left that discussion there for another day. Because since that thing with that thing happened, most of them people in the salon police they look for now. Be the worker free up to last week. Not only now, we see a CID issue say and they ask them people in day, including the former president in Peking, for make them go report themselves na CID and then tell the, all the border cross in point and say in case they see them people and they want to come out of the country. But what to make I bring this because now the death of Samura when I be a journalist when I during the election time and been beaten and later he died. Well, the one then they will say then we get political connection. The one the way allegedly where allegations say them beat. So this particular one, we see 
outside the government in self self now he set up the committee some people then they say back the government not supposed to set up the committee then for make let this case carry on uh, a civil court or make the journalists and go really complain and make them follow the procedure, make the government knock inside. If you want to foresee that part day of the clip we play, go on our YouTube page because he did it. And the minister, the answer, he did it. The entire program, they did outside the minister read out that particular statement there and again coming then he take one or two questions then from the journalist sn radio on youtube go day you will find the video day with that video day the starting you the headline uh the standards bureau of sierra leone you know say woman be the pass one place then a client town then sugar dot tea then this then that or what's not so then Go na the every Thursday press briefing, may then go brief we within actually then fair not wouldn't go na that place day. But what to make a bring then they come in, say yes, the previous government under the APC then be put press release at that time. The big padding. But this one, government act. You know, pull press release for big padding, say, there are big them journalists, and say, yes, this person, this person, they may deal with them, beat you, or what's not, they act. Even though people in the call say, we want to see this particular people that we involve from the military be disciplined. Because waiting you know, though, a military force supposed for be disciplined. So if a military force for be disciplined, then they act like this. Well, it will surprise you. I must tell the military not on beat police. What do you want to say about that? Then beat police now eastern police. Remember? Then beat police now at all. Tell them broke motoka in shield. Up to now, we don't know how that particular case they end. So, you go find out, say, some people them, because of the way how the military can they act sometimes. In you one question, they say, hey, this is not a military government. This is a civilian government. So, what is be the findings where we get for the military personnel that will be beat them, police them? Yes, that's the end will be here, say, then be arrest some. But what is not the outcome? We remember the captain we escape with the under court marshal Patrick. You remember that day? Yes, the military come out. Then see after the investigation, the name certain people they wouldn't feel say aid and abet that particular individual for escape from in lockup. So the military don't they make headlines slowly, but if you want check and good, not for the good reason. Even though they make one good one, we over three hundred female, all female recruits. Some of them are cadets, which was good. But if we don't they see them kind of act here, yeah, they go towards civilian them what you think say them go do female 
officers than we there among them. So now one of the main reasons that they we make we feel say yes, dismissing them or taking them out of the president in details, in security details, it's good. Then in a one punishment. But you know for end day. And then for make we the public know waiting then do the person them. So we go get more confidence. Say yes, the military they act. But make we just take them from time in memoriam. There is this perspective we the civilians them get of the military. And some of the military personnel them can overuse them, step out of that particular, I don't know, box day. What do you mean by that? Example, you go from Palava, military personnel in Fambul. Where you go call and come. You know what thing get for happen, not to so? You know what thing get for happen. Say you go from Palava, so Jaman, Fambul. They tell you, they go call me Fambul, come. So I think say the military gets a role for playing here. Because they don't make headline for beat police, they don't beat journalists. Maybe they need for talk to them. They need for talk to them. Make clear they understand say now this or not to this or now we the people they don't say, hey if you see so German I are. Or it's got belong. So the soldier man said, well, you know, say the people and the freedom. So that's how they think they carry on. It's just the civilian and military relationship. Again, make the military just like how the Minister don't tell we say they don't then they hand over them for the military for take their own appropriate action but make they make we know so we we know we go up for spread the news say yes then pull them come out and after them pull them that this happen And we we go continue for follow up. Say all waiting the government promise it and go do for them journalists. Then they say definitely then do them. Just a quick one before I come on here. You remember then travel at them. We then health workers them. What did we deal with yesterday? You remember then not so. The main person in him, not Drew. Hmm. You know, say they don't left Salon. They don't go Guinea. And waiting, now one of the things where they are the mot now. And say, West Africa. Now one of the most corrupt places, them where they don't go. Because this particular person, they try for go that every country in the world. And they, they try for go. So, it don't go 170 something now. So, for me, that person, they say West Africa. Now, one of the most corrupt places where they don't go. <laughs> 
and they not a good stampo. Because we they left saloon for go Guinea. Uh, you know say the Guinea side, the Guinea border. <laughs> you savvy no more now. They not do am like how we own them do huh? And again, yes, they take money na their hand. Well, they not take money directly na their own hand, but na the driver. Na the driver say because then the film. So na the driver na in the hole. It's rather unfortunate because I, I go watch, make a see all the way to Nengo, Nigeria. They did beautiful, about four different videos that they do for Nigeria. For sure, the, the life in Nigeria. Liberia, they do. I just talk about it with neighboring countries the way Drugo. He do back for Liberia, even though not one, but he do for Liberia. Saloon, we get two. We're not a good one. And the granted and can say opportunity. We come, get hold of them. But now the young people them. And then they will make up of. Well, we brother then again in they self not let we down. Then self show them the thing. So now we then they talk Salone and Guinea. But not today no more. The, part, the same time we then go Salon, there is another team with the Salon right now. When a YouTuber. There is another team. When a YouTuber. We na Africa to the world. Then save this alone. But thank God that one day na different story. Na all the beautiful things then. Where they happen in salon. All the beautiful places then where they salon. Na in then they show. So at least if that one day give you <laughs> the health workers they make we get to the negative, well, we still get to the positive. I just say make a rub that one day inside small. But I think say Naya we go lock the domot for today. Now we go lock the domot for today and we go there back tomorrow. For can lay in a table. Waiting ever good. Or waiting ever pass through. Yes, George Kamara called the name Wodemaya, definitely. Bakari Lansana, I see you just the forward. This is Sierra Network, brother. And for every reliable and authentic news about Sierra Leone, I hear you And the way we the forward, forward, so about ACC, Scorpio Squad, and they help staff them. My brother, don't deal with Dan Desa. Because I see just the post them. Like saying a breaking news for Winaya. No, sir. We don't break the news from the day with the news break. And it will good for make you click with like button and click the follow button. So whenever we go live, or whenever we post something on Facebook, you go watch them. You go go through them. I can tell people and say, if something happen, before you begin share, if you can share a network page, enough and and day, take out with a pinch of salt. Because we create this so that we not go begin strain the goal side. Now one pot, everything there. So now I see the go take candy the kaibana, the go take candy the kaibia. 
I just want to make you know, maybe today now you first send this for me to be online. But my brother, click the like, click the follow. And enjoy the stay. And if there are network house. Till we meet again tomorrow. <laughs> I know lock the mode to math idea. I know lock the mode. Mm, I know lock him. Till we meet again tomorrow. Triple A say, ta-ta.